Hello everyone. Uh, in this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can um, bake vertex animation into joints using mesh network. So in order to do that, I'm going to make a joint that I want to, to distribute it along vertices uh, for this object, which is an alembic file actually, and has a simple animation on it. And if I go to mesh uh, shelf and mesh creation button, it doesn't accept uh, joint as input because it works with geometry. So we need a geometry as a container. So I'm going to make a cube. And uh, by uh, middle click, middle click mouse button, I can drag the joint to the cube. So I make it a child of the cube and also I need a parent constraint for this joint so later I can unparent this joint and have uh, and big animation to the joint itself rather than having animation on cubes so first I select the cube then joints and from constraint which is in the rigging menu set constraint and parent. So we have we have three elements here, cube, joint, and parent constraint. Now I select the cube and go to the mesh uh, shelf and create on mesh network uh, creation button and it creates, creates a mesh network for me. And from um, by selecting the this this node that is called mesh waiter, I can go to uh, distribute tab, and I'm selecting mesh from distribution type and uh, for method I select vertex and also flood. Also I check flood mesh, and here it's waiting for me to. Uh, give it a mesh to uh, distribute the cubes on and by selecting the by selecting the plane actually by uh, pressing the middle mouse button and dragging it and into the mesh input slot I can distribute the cubes along vertices of my object and as you can see cubes now following the object animation, or rather the vertex. Now we need to have um, separated objects, separated cubes, rather than this single mesh object. In order to do that, we need to go to FX menu and from mesh menu, utility, and here we need to change the type of the mesh by selecting the mesh waiter. Here is an option for us that says switch mesh geometry type. By pressing on this button, it makes a mesh instancer for us. Now um, we can use this option that says bake instancer to object. And by pressing that, we have uh, this floating window that we can bake animation with it. So we don't need visibility and scale and I'm going to bake the animation. Now as you can see we have um, animation on these cubes and um, the joints are following the cubes because the, the, they are charts of the cubes. So what I'm going to do is to unchart the, the joints. So I uh, select the joints and shift um, pressing by pressing shift and P button, I can unparent the joints so they are no longer a uh, child of the joint, a uh, child of the cubes. But because we have parent constraint on them, 
on each of them, they still follow cubes. So now we can uh, bake animation on the joints by selecting the uh, by select by going to edit menu key and bake simulation. Now we have uh, animation on the joints as you can see and we don't need constraints anymore i'm going to delete the constraint going to edit um, delete by type and constraints and we delete the constraints and we don't need uh, these objects anymore the instancer and the cubes and i'm deleting them and this plane is still is an alembic file and has its own animation. I'm going to duplicate it and deleting delete the original one. And as you can see, this plane has no animation on it. The only thing we need to do is to grab the joint and select the geometry and from rigging menu set go to skin and skin bind and now the plane is driven by joints thank you for watching